Have you ever noticed, ladies and gentlemen, that every generation has had a particular kind of music they considered all their very own? You know, like now it's rock and roll. Well, when I was a teenager, we had a kind of a crazy thing going for us, too. I wonder how many of you remember the Boogie Woogie craze? everyone, welcome to another episode brought to you by the Liberace Foundation. My name is Andrea Sparkle, Operations Manager with the Foundation, joined by... Dallas Ryber, the lead archivist of the Liberace Foundation. Today we're going to look at Liberace's blue brocade suit shown here while he played his famous boogie woogie. And we're going to see what it takes to process this suit. Today we will be using a archival box, archival tissue paper, white gloves so we're not touching the costume in a camera to document damage and to take appropriate photos of this beautiful costume. Really quickly, the reason we use archival tissue paper and archival boxes and white gloves is to keep any acidity away from these artifacts. Acidity deteriorates artifacts, especially textiles and furs, which we deal a lot with. All right, so we're getting started, and you can see that we take off the sheets of archival tissue paper, and right away we see that this costume was not packaged properly. There is no tissue paper wrapping it or separating the textiles, which means they've been rubbing together. So right away we put a piece of tissue paper down, and we separate every piece as we take inventory of it. Now what that means is we make sure it has a tag, and we make sure what's in the box is actually reflected on the outside of the box. This vest that Billy and Dallas are looking at here is actually really cool. That's just the interior. There you can see the exterior. It's just such an amazing piece of craftsmanship. The lining was so smooth and reflective that uh, we had to take a moment and appreciate that. All right, so here we get this jacket out, and we're going to put it on the mannequin, and I'm just checking to see if there's a tag and to see if those sleeves were stuffed. They were not. All right, so I'm documenting some damage here. Um, there were some seams pulled slightly on the shoulders, and I'm just making sure that velvet collar is laying correctly. Here's a typical example of some damage that we see on these costumes where the textiles really start to wear away, especially when they're unpackaged the way that we saw them. That kind of damage is really easy to accumulate. That damage can be caused by incorrect packing, and it also can happen from wear. But usually, with really good craftsmanship like this, it takes a long time to create that damage from wear. So I've accelerated the speed of the video so we can see a little qu quicker than normal uh, the packaging process of this jacket. It's basically the goals are to make it so that any seam is stuffed with this acid-free tissue paper so that no folds are created which ultimately break the textiles on a microscopic level. We can also see that we need to separate each piece of textile from touching itself. So that means that the textile is not going to be rubbing. So the beading that's on that sleeve ideally should not be touching the beading that's on the tail coat. Yeah, it's very abrasive material. So right now, um, Billy and I are just stuffing these sleeves so the seams do not crease. And I am trying to make sure that I can get this jacket to fit real nicely in this box. Remember that this is sped up. You want to take your time when you're doing this kind of work. And you always want a partner to help you uh, lift up the other pieces of fabrics so that everything can be done delicately and precisely. Speaking of delicately, I know it looks like we're being really rough with these costumes. We're not. We treat them with care every time we use them. Okay, and we come out of fast motion and we always separate, us personally, we always separate uh, our items in one box with tissue paper. 
So that jacket will not be touching the vest that you see there, or the dickie. It's kind of a combination piece. And this item has no creases in it, so we don't need to wrap tissue paper around the collar. Alright, here you can see I'm stuffing the cuffs. Those cuffs are really interesting um, because they zip into the jacket. Everything is removable, but we still want to stuff them just like the sleeve of the jacket. Billy's being very careful while stuffing it because we don't want to be pulling any of the seams or any of the fabrics. And then as we lay these objects into the box, we want to make sure that the box is balanced. So here we have a dickie. Um, it was a pleated dickie, so I'm having trouble figuring out where a fold was originally created and where it wasn't. Um, and we just lay that nice and flat. We're all done. We're very happy with the packaging work that we've done with this. It's ready to be in storage for many years. And hopefully it will come out sooner than that in an exhibition invitation from someone who's watching. Thank you for joining us. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And you can also find us at Liberace.org and the Liberace Foundation Facebook page. See you soon. Take it away, Lee. Now this boogie woogie I've been playing for you is a kind that is known as Boogie Woogie 8 to the Bar. Here's a little invention of my own, Boogie Woogie 16 to the Bar.